Well, everybody, it's great uh, to speak to you again this uh, July. July, can you believe it? We're already in July uh, in the lockdown. And we're going through the Bible, God's book of comfort and hope, God's book about Jesus. And we've got to Exodus, where the people are locked down in slavery. It's a horrible situation. Yes, they have sinned. They're idolatrous. We see that later in the Bible. But also it's cursed and unfair and incredibly cruel that they're being pushed around. They're slaves that have no control over their lives. And the people of God are heartbroken. They groan out to God. They cry out at the beginning of Exodus because of this terrible injustice this huge murder of children that's going on and and the beatings they take and what does the bible say the bible says god remembered his covenant with abraham isaac and jacob or another way of putting it as it says in uh, in galatians god remembered the gospel god remembered the gospel you believe in and that you put your trust in and in this time of slavery, what does he do? He sends Jesus Christ, the angel of the Lord who appears in the burning bush. The angel of the Lord, it says in verse 2 of chapter 3, the one we saw yesterday, comes when people are groaning, and when people have no hope. God sends Jesus. And what does the angel of the Lord say? He says, I am the God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. I am. I am your shield and your great reward. I am the way, the truth and the life. I am the good shepherd who lays down his life for the sheep. I am the God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. I am the one who has brought Abraham, Isaac and Jacob through death itself. I found a way of conquering it. I'm not the God of a bunch of dead guys. I have rescued them in life and I've rescued them through death. And now I am coming to rescue you. And his whole purpose was to take them to the unseen father in chapter 20 we'll see more of that maybe tomorrow and how does he do it we see the picture of how the lamb he himself who is innocent and perfect would take away the punishment of sin and pay the price that we all face when we have disobeyed god pay the price of god's wrath a lamb would be slain at Passover. And all of the plagues and all of the pain is under his control. He hasn't got lost and he isn't scared or out of control in heaven. He is totally in control. But he has provided a way for you and me to have our sins forgiven. For us to come to know the Father. To eventually go to a place where we will live forever. This glorious Saviour was not the God of a bunch of dead guys, but the one who has found a way of conquering death and of bringing you to God the Father, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob, the Lord Jesus Christ, the great I Am. So as you groan, and as you feel that no one cares and no one can help, God hears in heaven if you come through Jesus. And he sent Jesus for you. He sent his own son for you. And he has conquered not only all you fear, but all there is to fear in life and in death when he came and died on the cross and rose again. What a wonderful book, the book of Exodus is. A book of hope for those who are groaning inside. I love you, praying for you, members of Mount, and uh, 
looking forward to see what's the next step in what happens now. Please remember to pray for those in the assembly uh, that they make wise decisions and uh, also for the churches in the FIC uh, who have got uh, big decisions to make, the churches in England at the moment, of what happens next for them. But God is in control. It's all part of his plan. He will work out his purposes. And in a world where people are groaning, God sent his son, Jesus Christ, who is the God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob, the God of the living and not the dead.